Good morning to you. This is the place we camped last night. The lake down there. <sighs> I'm tired. Oh, but wow, that is nuts. <laughs> How are you feeling? Hey, not bad. Not bad. <laughs> oh my goodness. Look at this place. <sighs> I have a bogey, I can't. The problem here is the amount of ants that I've, I don't know if you can see how many there are on the floor. There's like hundreds of fucking thousands of little things. Um, and they're like crawling in everywhere. Um, so washing up is gonna be a bit of an issue. And like the flies as well, they just, they're so persistent. There's like three of them on my legs right now and you can sort them away, but they'll come back in about about two seconds, three seconds. So it can, uh, it can really annoy you if you're feeling a bit hot and, um, if you're feeling a bit hot and bothered. That's what happens when you leave your camping stuff out overnight. Lovely. <laughs> They're in everywhere. <laughs> Just when you're about to leave, you realise you had an overnight puncture. Uh, we are off. Um, I think we're gonna roll into the local town instead of heading to uh, Rabat, which is where we're gonna to go today. Uh, unfortunately, Lawrence is really, really not feeling very well. Um, and to be honest, I'm not feeling great either. Um, uh, I think it might have been something that we ate or could have been water that we drunk, uh, I'm not quite sure. Um, a sa a salads that we ate maybe, something like that. Um, we're not feeling too good, so it's a bit of a late start today. Um, we might might have to cancel today's ride. Um, he's really not doing that well, bless him. Um, yeah, we'll see how we go. We're gonna roll into the local town, get just a little bit of food, some sugary drinks. Um, yeah, maybe a soup for Lawrence, not sure. Oi, get out of fucking way, son. Out of the way. You guys are the best. <laughs> Thank you so much. We are just in a taxi to Sislima and uh, we're gonna get a train to Casablanca. Loza here is uh, not doing very well. Hello man. <laughs> so we, we were told that we could get uh, we could take our, our bikes on the train. Um, we got here and that wasn't true. Uh, there's no bikes allowed at all on the train. Um, so we're left with like a few options, having to try and get it on a bus. And I think in Lauren's current state, a bus would probably be the worst thing for him, looking at the amount of people and the heat that are going, go on the buses. Um, so we're either gonna have to try and get bike box and package all the bikes up and take them on the train, which would take hours from this point. Try and source one, fix, you know, take apart the bikes or blah blah. Um, I think maybe a taxi, but that's gonna be, uh, it's gonna take hours and probably a hefty dent to the wallet as well. Um, so we're kind of stuck here. I've been here for like for the last 45 minutes kind of contemplating what to do. Um, how are you feeling? Uh, better. I've got life in me now. Yeah, um, just a, a little bit better. I went through a life, a rough patch. Right now, <laughs> a life changing experience. Yeah. <laughs> to say the least. Um, so yeah, we're trying to figure out what to do. One of the guys that helped us get a taxi, uh, the cafe, uh, got his number just to make sure if anything went wrong. And obviously we couldn't get bikes and trains. So I called this guy, which I thought was gonna come pick us up in a taxi, but 
but he is uh, taking us somewhere. We're not really sure what's going on. And then getting a taxi, apart from someone else. So I don't really know what's going on, but something's happening and I'm happy to go with it. <laughs> Thank you guys. <laughs> Thank you. Ciao. Finally managed to get in a, in a taxi to uh, to Casablanca. It'll take about two hours. Um, there's some pretty tricky checkpoints we gotta get through. Um, require a bit of dodgy work, <laughs> but um, yeah, should be all good. How you feeling? TKO again. Yeah. Project Shell is done, over. We've got Lauren safely to a, to a bed where he should spend the final hours of his life before he passes away. So I'm off to explore Casablanca by myself. One thing, look at all of these people. Every single one of them is waiting for a taxi. Every single one of them. Two, two three days ago, uh, we were trying to catch a taxi. Um, and I shit you not, there was about 250 cars, 250 taxis that went past every single one of them was full um, and we were walking for about 20 minutes along this main road every single one of them was full is this not the scariest shit you've seen in your life who are the babies yeah. 